A Good Samaritan, a testimony by Phyllis Hobe. Luke six thirty seven and 38. Judge not, and you shall not be judged. Condemn not, and you shall not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. I have always yearned to be a good Samaritan, but I never seemed to have the opportunity. Or perhaps I simply told myself that I didn't have the time. Looking back now, you might say that I was too busy to pay much attention to distress signals. Until one day, many years ago, she knocked at my door, interrupting me in the middle of a busy, hectic day. Her car had broken down right in front of my house, and her young son was out there in the back seat. Could she use my telephone? I'm fighting to meet a deadline, I thought. Why didn't she knock on someone else's door? I felt like Scrooge, but invited her in. But first, she ran back and fetched her little boy. I made her a cup of tea helped her locate a towing service, and, you're being foolish, I told myself, volunteered to drive her home. An enormous smile of relief crossed her face, and that did it. I no longer felt like Scrooge. In fact, I began to rather enjoy the role of Good Samaritan. It made me feel good about myself. How can I ever thank you? She asked as we arrived at her house. I was really in need of a friendly hand and you gave it to me. You know, it doesn't take much time to be a good Samaritan. It only takes a bit of caring. Try it today. Father, when I hear you calling to me through another, I will run to help.